Welcome to ISL Enabled Virtual Lab of CSIR. Microstructures Vital Decisions A cell is a crowded space, a busy place where protein machines work incessantly. This is a story of the precision building of proteins by other proteins. Introducing you to a clan of 20 amino acids the mRNA the design of the proteins these amino acids except for glycine exist in two distinctly different mirror image forms of each other called the D and L amino acids. The tRNA which is the carrier of amino acids to build proteins and bigger proteins that help build other proteins. We have the amino acyl tRNA synthetase which picks the right match of amino acid for its specific tRNA. Then we have the EF2 which brings the amino acid bound tRNA to the ribosome. Ribosome it brings all of these components together and keeps adding amino acids one at a time in the sequence dictated by the design on the mRNA. In and around a cell, is a soup of proteins, hundreds and thousands of them with structures and functions neatly defined by their amino acid composition. But each of them is made of only the L amino acid. What stops the D amino acids from building proteins? A chopping machine with fine senses of microstructures known as DTD. The D amino acid bound tRNA has a structure different from L amino acid bound tRNA. The former fits into a specific pocket on the DTD, while the latter doesn't. Anything that fits this pocket gets cleaved with an exception of amino acid glycine bound tRNA. So the DTD works on the first come first serve basis. Once the L shaped amino acid is cleaved, the DTD will not allow the D shaped amino acid to attach itself. DTD, it's signed like this. DTD is an important part of the machinery which forms proteins. Given its size, 
glycine snuggles into the DTD pocket too. But the DTD identifies its specific tRNA and lets it go unperturbed. DTD, a protein made of L amino acids, is key to the process of ensuring an L amino acid protein world. When it fails, life fails. Would DTD choose differently had it been made of D amino acids? Would life look like its mirror image with cells operating with D amino acids?